Four from £500 is two between you and a guaranteed £1,000 to take back home to Bristol. Have a look at number four, it's worth £500. What is the beautiful game, as in the title of the Andrew Lloyd Webber and Ben Elton musical? Golf, football, cricket, tennis. What are you thinking, Terry? It's not football. Why not? Because I don't think it's Andrew Lloyd Webber's scene. Some of my friends are going to kill me for this. I should know this. Ask the audience. OK, that's what they're there for. It's exactly what lifelines are for. Audience, on your keypads, please. What is the beautiful game, as in the title of the Andrew Lloyd Webber and Ben Elton musical? A on your keypad is golf. B is football. C is cricket. D is tennis. A, B, C or D. All vote now. <laughs> now, Terry, you said the only one you were certain it wasn't was football. 81% of the audience think it is football. But they're a strange lot. Go for football. <laughs> I would take some stick over that. It's better than going home with nothing. It's true. It's true. Final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. You got 500 quid. <laughs> it's a great new musical on in London town at the moment. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber and Ben Elton. A very strange but very successful combination. Terry, you got 500 quid. Last chance to go home with nothing. I'm sure you won't. You may well not need any lifeline for a long time. That's what they're there for, though. Keep them uh, tucked away. You got a phone a friend, you got a 50 50. This is for £1,000. Which of these is a citrus fruit? Pineapple, banana, date, tangerine, a citrus fruit for £1,000. Pineapple, banana, date, or tangerine? Tangerine. Not pineapple. No. It's not a seat. Uh, it's not dates. It's not a banana. Oh, I don't want to waste a minute of writing. Citruses, oranges, tangerine. Final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. You just won a thousand pounds. You were terrified. <laughs> so, Terry, you're guaranteed a thousand, which is a nice feeling, whatever. You're ten away from a million, but you've got those two lifelines left. Uh, have a look at number six. It's worth two thousand pounds. Here we go. In the oil production industry, what is used as the standard measure? Tank. Litre, gallon, barrel. It's barrel. Not gallon? No. Final answer? Yes. How do you think you've done? I'm positive. It's the right answer, Terry! <laughs> Already the shirt is paying handsome dividends. Now, you've got £2,000. <laughs> Have a look at number seven of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Here it comes. What describes the flute in the title of a popular Mozart opera? Charmed, twisted, magic, golden. Probably not too hot on your Mozart, are you? No. If you were 1980 disco dancing <laughs> champion. I've got an inkling. 
What are you thinking? What's your inkling? Magic. Magic flute. Charm flute, twisted flute, magic flute, golden flute. But then again, it could be golden. Good chief. You got two thousand. It's worth four. My gut feeling says magic. Play. It. Final answer. Yes. You just won four thousand pounds. You're dehydrating a bit tonight, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you went on a minute, you drank a pint. Uh, you got four thousand pounds, you've still got those two lifelines. You're hanging on well, Terry. You got a 50-50 still. And you can phone a friend. Money going up steeply, the drops get a bit steep as well. Yeah. This is worth £8,000. It's question number eight of a possible 15. Which of these states is not part of New England? Maine, Vermont, Nevada, Connecticut? Nevada. Sound very confident? Yes. Maine, Vermont, and Conne Connecticut are east side. Nevada's west side. Nevada desert. You perked up a bit tonight, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> Starting to enjoy this? Yes. Final answer? Yes. And you know it's the right answer. You've got yes. £8,000. Terry, I know you said to me, and your son said to you, really, whatever you come home with, Dad, I'll still be proud of you, just for getting in the chair at all and, and, and getting here. But what would be a good sum of money? I'm already at a good sum of money at eight. All right, well, don't lose it. You've got 8,000. No, you no. would drop seven here if you give me a wrong answer. Take your time. Have a look at question number nine. It's worth 16,000. <coughs> in which Thomas Hardy novel does Michael Henchard sell his wife and child for five guineas. Jude the Obscure, the Trumpet Major, the Mayor of Casterbridge, Tess of the D'Urbervilles. I haven't got a clue. All right, you've got 8,000. Uh, you can phone a friend? Uh, yes, please. Who should we phone? Tracy. Tracy? Yes. You good on this uh, literature? Um, she's well educated. Where is she? Exeter. Hello. Tracy. Hello. Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I've got um, I've got Terry here, Terry Davis. Yes. He's doing fine. He's on eight thousand pounds. Right. But with your help, we can get him up to sixteen thousand. Okay. Okay. Fingers crossed. Now, next voice here will be Terry's. He'll tell her the question. There are four possible answers. One of those is the right one. It's worth sixteen thousand. Right. Okay. Good luck, Terry. Your time starts now. Tracy. In Hello. which Thomas Hardy novel does Michael Henchard sell his wife and child for five guineas? Jude the Obscure, the Trumpet Major, the Mayor of Casterbridge, or Tess of the Urbervilles? I'm just having a think in a minute, sorry. You've got seven seconds. Jude the Obscure, Trumpet Major, Casterbridge. Casterbridge, Terry. You sure? Oh. We may never know how sure she was. 50-50, please. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Terry the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. It's worth 16,000. Play. Play what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell Just me. Just checking. Casterbridge, the mayor of Casterbridge. Final answer. You know you lose 7,000 if she's wrong. Yes. She's 
not wrong. You've just won 16 yes. seconds. Yes. £16,000. But, yes. but, Terry, have a look at question number 10. Take as long as you need. You don't have to play it, but it's worth £32,000. Which month is named after the Roman god of beginnings and doorways? January, February, June, July. January. It's January. Sure. And January is the beginning of the year and it's the doorway to the rest of the year. If my bit of Roman backs me up on that. We'll play. Will we? January. Final answer. No. You've got sixteen thousand pounds, you can take it and walk away. Good play. January. January. Final answer. Final answer. You just won thirty-two thousand. Yes! 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 Oh, well played, my man. Thirty-two thousand pounds, Terry. Yes. At least! Oh, you are some geezer, Terry Davis. £32,000. Whatever happens, you go back tonight to the family with that cheque for 30... Have a look, go on. It's yours. £32,000. Guaranteed. And you've earned, it. you've earned every pound of that. But we don't want to give you that. <laughs> I don't you... care anymore. I don't care. I don't you care. You've got that, OK? Yes. You've got that £32,000. You are... Five questions away from one million pounds. The next question is worth sixty-four thousand pounds. Have a look at the next one. Um, it's worth sixty-four thousand pounds. You've got no lifelines left, but question number eleven is worth sixty-four thousand pounds and a brand new shirt. Right, have a look. <laughs> the black swan is native to which country? India, Mexico, Brazil, Australia. The black swan. Now, you've got no lifelines, but it's worth £64,000. What are you thinking? You've got a clue? I've got two. I've got Mexico. And I've got India. I've got nothing to lose. I've had a good time. So, I'm just going to pick one out of those four. And we'll go for... What technique are you going to use? Guess. Wibble dibble? Yes. <laughs> Eeny meeny? Yeah. The black um, swan is native to which country? If you can give me the right answer, I'll give you £64,000. India, Mexico, Brazil, or Australia? Mexico. Sure? No, but we go for Mexico. Final answer. Final answer. Terry, you had £32,000? Still got You've 30, still got £32,000. The answer, I'm afraid, is Australia. Oh, well. Give him a big hand. He's been a great contestant. Thanks, Terry goes back to Bristol. Bless you, mate. You've been fabulous. Thank, Thank you. Enjoy it. Yeah. Love to your family. Right. £32,000. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Terry Davis goes back to Bristol and the family with £32,000. Wait till they all see the shirt that Daddy's bought in London. <laughs> now, time to see who's next tonight to play for a possible million pounds. Let's meet our ten brand-new contestants. They are Paul Chaplin from Bedfordshire. Paul Cole from Cornwall. 
Kathy Anderson from Glasgow. <laughs> Jeff Pratchett from Oxfordshire. Stuart Mayer from Anglesey. Mick Clover from West Yorkshire. Roger Wheeler from Dorset.